Welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Pothole Frozen Pizza from Quick Trip. Let's go! Let's go! Aaron, I'm not going to beat the last game to death, but during it, over the course of it, you set a new franchise record for running backs with 129 receiving yards. And of course, the cornerstone for that was that 75-yard catch. Give me the first person account of that particular play, please. I seen the corner kind of starting to sit and he was his eyes kind of came off of me wasn't looking at me and the safety kind of jumped Devonte, and uh i just kept running and i seen a right kind of about to scramble and i threw my hand up and i seen him see me i seen us make like kind of that eye contact and he threw it uh turned and caught it i i, I think it was a big play uh it gave us an opportunity to uh, get a field goal right before half when we were just in a backed up situation. Definitely wish I could have scored that. Uh, if I go back, I would just try to run straight or get out of bounds. Um, but, you know, I, get, I gave us the opportunity to, to kick a field goal, so. My favorite Aaron Jones play, perhaps from the entire season, came in the Browns game because you're leading Alan Lazard. He's on an around. You're leading him and you take Denzel Ward and you block him. Now blocking in the open field is hard. You take Denzel Ward and run his rear end about nine, 10 yards, almost out of bounds. That's my favorite Aaron Jones play. Do you remember it? Yes, sir, I definitely remember it. Uh, anytime one of those plays are called up, that is, uh, that is actually one of my favorites from the season as well. But anytime uh, that play's dialed up, you know, my guys are always out there, my receivers. Uh, my tight ends, if you see one explode for a long one, they're normally the ones who make one of those key blocks and they're, they're just doing the dirty work. I knew Lazard had to kind of come from behind. So I was like, I'll, I'll beat him there. And uh, and I told him in practice, I said, hey, if I can get there, just know I'm, I'm gonna be there leading the way before, uh, for you to get to the end zone. And whenever I hear that play, I start smiling because I know I get to uh, go lay it on the line for my guys who've been laying it on the line for me. Aaron, when you met the press, after the 49er game. I thought that was about as down as I've ever seen you. And I had the sense you were down because you and your teammates thought that this team had the mystical it to go all the way and you weren't going all the way. What was it about this team that made you convinced it had the mystical it? We had all the leaders. Uh, we had all the playmakers we needed. Um, everybody was stepping up, bringing the right energy, working hard every day. Uh, everybody was committed, and uh, you just you just felt the the vibe in the locker room, um, the determination. Everybody wanted it, and um, it's, it's sad that we came up a little short. But I, I feel like we were the better team, and um, for most of the year, uh, in every game, we were the better team, and it showed. But we just gotta get over that hump and finish. Aaron. You've talked about it before, otherwise I'd probably not talk about it. And if you don't want to, just say so. But of course, during the off season, you lost your father. Was playing football again, was that good therapy for you? You know, it was, uh, especially like right after it happened, I got uh, came out here OTAs and uh, got with my brothers, um, just focused on football, that was kind of my escape. But then early on in the season, I kind of struggled. Uh, you know, I would go out there, think about my dad, kind of be in tears a little bit, you know, just because he's not there. I can't look up and see him. Uh, so I kind of struggled with that. But I would say probably halfway through, through the season, I, you know, that, that sadness kind of turned into a smile, knowing he's right there looking down. You know, we came up short. It, it wasn't our goal. I told my dad we'd win the Super Bowl, but I'll make sure uh, get him one of those rings one day. And I, I know he'd be uh, proud of me because I left everything out there, everything I had. So, um, and I know he's he's just up there smiling down. And he's super proud of um, everything I've done this year, and um, especially my Man of the Year uh, nomination. Well, 
In that regard, just last week, Matt LaFleur was asked about Aaron Jones. And here's what Matt said. He embodies what we want Green Bay Packers to be all about. I mean, that is Aaron to a T. He is as selfless as they come. Certainly the things he does off the field and for others is well noted. He's an explosive player. I just think he's, he's a complete player. I'll tell you what, Aaron, your pop is very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's why, you know, I, I was able to use football as an escape because that was always me and my dad's place to go. I use football as that escape right away, so uh, now I kind of have to deal with it. And that's why I say, pound for pound, Aaron Jones is the toughest guy on the Green Bay Packers team. Aaron, congratulations on another terrific season. Enjoy your off season and thanks for being with us. Thank you, thank you.